hi everybody how is it going today i will be showing some of the orchid vanilla orchid flowers and i will do some pollination i have several other orchid pollinating videos if you're interested they are probably going to be clear because um, i had a helper to record but this one i'm doing it by myself today so i can do two things at the same time unfortunately because i have to use both thing, both hands to pollinate these flowers today and so they can become vanilla beans and we can use them for vanilla ice cream vanilla pudding and everything vanilla i love so this plant i got it around four or five years ago if i remember correctly it was about two feet to three feet uh, length and i ended up putting it close to the loquat and here i'm removing the sepals i also removed the petal labellum uh, because it's easier to see what 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 i'm gonna do that way and uh, if you just starting pollinating vanilla orchid i think it's actually a better way because nothing is in your way and you will see and with practice you will learn you will learn exactly what to do so for me it works out don't feel bad for removing the petals and sepals this orchid is extremely short lived the flowers are very short lived it's about i would say a half a day maybe a little longer than that If you have a chance to pollinate it uh, early morning hours, that's much better. Try to do it definitely before noon. As for the flowers, they don't get any scent really. Definitely no vanilla scent, at least not for the vanilla planifolia, which I'm growing. So you will need a little toothpick and you can flip up the rostellum to the pollen area which is the anther and then you can push it together gently and that's it the if all goes well and uh, you were successful with your pollination then you can expect vanilla beans just like those green beans that you can see over there so you see like i'm pushing up the rostellum membrane to the pollen area which is the anther and then you you will have to push it together but you have to be careful like um, don't get the pollen out while you're doing it so just gently carefully you can do it and you have to use both hands if you're curious to see more pollinating videos that show closer closely what i'm doing with when i'm pollinating it you can find it on my uh, life in florida youtube channel and uh, good luck everybody with your pollination have a good one bye <laughs>